Hello, welcome to another Toneless Landscape Oil Painting Demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and the painting I'm bringing you today is called Sunset Cove. It's a 12 by 16, and I kind of completed this recently. Um, there was kind of, uh, kind of, there was a good size gap between when I'd socked in the first color and then went ahead and finished it and I've I'm actually pretty happy with it now I'm it's winning me over um, it went through some changes and um, I didn't feel that it was um, quite as relaxed a painting session as the previous little uh, Pahutakawa which is the type of tree it is uh, on the beach sort of scene but it has a lot it has a lot to say for it too so I'd be interested to see uh, what you think of it and um, I'm sharing it now but uh, I did do I did share some work in progress stuff on Instagram um, but this will be the first time it's uh, on YouTube so like I said let me know what you think um, I am doing these uh, trees on the beach thing I'm gonna be uh, I've been working on a series I've got some six by eight uh, studies that I'll be sharing with you and then a bit later uh, I'll be rolling out some eight by twelves which will be the actual finished paintings now the sort of the point of this uh, sunrise cove was to do a uh, a print as a little partner for the um, for the other painting I'm doing is a print now and um, uh, I need to actually get that <laughs> up on my website. I better make a note. I keep forgetting to do that. But uh, I've been doing these prints on the archival rag paper and they just look amazing. And um, I just did, for, actually I did photography on this painting last night. Hold on, I'm print on site. I gotta make myself a note, if you pardon me. Okay. Um, and I had the, of course, the constituent, uh, all the uh, video increments together. And what I do is I burn a big archive video. In this case, that archive video is like four, four hours long. So you're seeing it sped up quite a lot here. Um, that archive video is actually uh, double speed. So a good eight hours of painting on this uh, painting. And um, I thought, ah. I, I did another video which I was going to put up today of a painting that I I know it's a good painting people like it I've almost sold it many times but I personally am not that into it and my heart's just not into uh, sharing it so that's in the archives uh, maybe I'll roll it out one day when uh, uh, I need it but um, I thought now I feel I feel much better about this painting I want to share this and I feel like I've been doing nothing but redos um, uh, so I wanted to get something that was an original from from the ground up and uh, that's what this is and I do think it's successful um, and uh, it's well it's of a uh, it's a part it's designed to be a partner and it uh, is going to have some brothers and sisters too because um, like I said, I do have some six bites I'm going to share out. Those I photographed last night too. I'm using my new, um, I have a really nice uh, uh, 50 millimeter lens, which uh, made it really easy to photograph this size, a 12 by 16. I have a really a good 100 millimeter lens as well, um, which I use to photograph the um, smaller stuff. Um, but as I scaled up, I was uh, having to uh, set up my camera basically across the room to photograph the uh, larger stuff and the problem with that is I'm really persnickety I want every single brush stroke captured in sharp detail and uh, I don't always succeed at that I usually get it pretty dang good but uh, this uh, this new lens is really enabling me to do that and what can I say all it, all it takes is money right you know um, to get a, a lens of a sharp corner to corner costs quite a lot. Anyway, um, what did we do in the uh, studio uh, yesterday? I know I talked a bit about it on the uh, video I'm not even sharing. And um, I've got to refresh. Ah, finished up a 6x8 study of a beach scene. And um, 
did a bunch of glazing on it, extensive glazing. It was pretty strong before I actually did the glazing, and that was sort of the case with this one too. You're going to see it's going to go through a major uh, glaze implementation, and um, it's questionable in my mind whether I could have held off on that or not, but this is the thing with glazing. It really has a strong impact when you do it. Um, oh, unless you do it very lightly, in which case, why, why, why bother? I mean, if you just want a very light tint, uh, you can do it. But um, anyway, um, what else is going on? So I finished that yesterday. I've done a bunch of, uh, last week I did a bunch of um, uh, little studies, or even little paintings. I don't know if they're studies because I just did them with small paintings. One of them was a scene that I painted like four times, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm going backwards. I think the first one was uh, actually the first one was like a six by nine when I first came out to uh, to New Zealand. I had a maple panel I brought out with me, and uh, that painting's long since sold. But uh, then I did a um, a twelve by twelve of it, which uh, is in my living room, and I'm quite happy with it. It's a very dark painting without a lot of chroma, but it's got some some. It's a nice painting, and. Uh, the one I, uh, then I've done it as uh, 8x10s, the same scene, um, or aspects of the same scene. And then uh, yesterday I did it as a 3 and a half by 3 and a half. so I'm actually uh, doing the study after all of the larger versions, which I've done in a few cases with these 3 and a half by 3 and a half. but I like these little 3 uh, and a half by 3 and a half because, um, um, for one, they're fun, um, they're really fun to paint, I really enjoy them, and, uh, for two, it gives me small paintings for the uh, tourist market out here, which is, uh, I'm in the middle of the tourist season, so that's always a thing, and uh, tourists like very small things uh, for obvious reasons, since they're uh, flinging their bodies over great distances, you know, to come visit us out here in New Zealand. Uh, we are very far away from just about every place, yeah, just about every place except a few other islands. Um, other than that, I did a 6x6. Uh, six six. It was also a revisit, and I shared that on Instagram. I don't share my works in progress on YouTube because YouTube is uh, a place for videos. And um, even though my works in progress often end up being videos on Instagram, they're very limited. And I like Instagram for doing limited things because people don't seem to pay this sort of in-depth attention that they'll pay to a video on YouTube and that's absolutely fine and I have to credit Instagram for not trying to turn themselves into YouTube or Facebook uh, they keep themselves Instagram uh, which is you know pretty cool really it's a good way to kill an extra 10-15 minutes you just go scrolling through your feed and and liking things and uh, I post over on Instagram every other day now. I was daily for the first few months. Um, and sometimes I throw in an extra day, you know. Uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Toneless Painter over there. And, uh, pardon me. A little breeze opened the door there. Um, anyway, so, hey, hopefully you're enjoying this uh, painting and demonstration of a lovely, colorful beach scene um, featuring these um, very interesting Buddha cow trees, which have a, uh, they're very tenacious, they cling to the rocks out here, they're very distinctive, and uh, this is quite a distinctive scene. These cliffs were, were definitely uh, big, and um, uh, I really wanted to take that and inject a lot of color into it as well. And I think I succeeded on that. Now you're going to see there's a few steps missing between where the video stops and some things I had to do with the painting on my lap. But uh, that's pretty much it. So, hey, I will be back again really soon. I have photographed some awesome redos. I can't wait to share them with you, as well as some more originals. So please stay tuned. All you new subscribers, thanks for joining. I really appreciate it. Um, like I said, I'll be back real soon. Meanwhile, please take good care and stay out of trouble. <laughs>